Rango Exchange is one of the biggest DEX aggregators that allows you to connect multiple different wallets to multiple different chains and allows you to swap between them. What does that mean in practice? Let's say that you aped into a meme coin over on Solana and you made a bunch of profits. Congratulations to you, by the way. If you wanted to take those profits in Solana and swap them into something like Bitcoin, how would you do that without using a centralized exchange? The obvious answer, since I'm making this video, is to use something like Rango Exchange. So in this video, I'm gonna give you a walkthrough on how this works. Let's start with an overview of their main page. You've got the swap tab, which is their bread and butter. This is what the whole platform is basically for, doing cross-chain swaps. And we're gonna spend a lot of time here in a second. You've also got a profile, so when you connect your wallet, you'll be able to see all of your trading stats. They've got a leaderboard for the trading on this platform. They've also got an affiliate tab, so they share revenue if you wanted to set up a referral link. They've also got more. You can get support over in Discord. Their documentation is really good, and then some other things here as well. They've got a button for news. You can also, they've got a dark mode for you people who think that this is way too bright, right? You can go into dark mode. And then they've also got notifications. So if you're doing any swaps or anything's pending, it will show up there. Back to the swaps tab. The first thing I'm gonna wanna do is connect my wallet. So I've got a Rabi wallet here up in the extension. So I'm gonna go connect wallet and connect my Rabi wallet. You can see we're connected here and there is no money in this because this is a dummy wallet. So let's say that I've got some Ethereum in my wallet and I'm also just planning to swap on Ethereum. So let's say I'm swapping some ETH into another coin on ETH. Let's say wrapped Bitcoin. If I wanted to swap, let's say three ETH worth, it's gonna give me some different routes. And because I'm on the same chain, I'm on Ethereum, there's really only gonna be one step to go from one Ethereum to coin to Ethereum because it's not cross chain. So it has different routing that, it, it, that you can pick. It's got recommended routing. So you would pick smart routing here. You could also say the lowest fee and you could see it's switched. So it does actually use centralized exchanges as some of their liquidity for some of these swaps, but you don't actually have to do any KYC or anything like that. It just does it in the middle for you. You can go by the fastest transfer, the maximum return, which is Thor chain right now, or maximum output, which happens to be one inch right now. So I'm going to go smart routing and the recommended looks like Thor chain streaming. So I'm going to, if you wanted to do this swap, you would just let this happen. You would hit swap. It's going to open this up. I'm going to select my Rabi wallet. I would hit confirm, but I don't have a, su a sufficient balance. All you would do is approve the transaction and you would be good to go. So even if you plan to stay just on the Ethereum chain or only within the Solana chain or something like this, it's still great using Rango because it will show you the best routes depending on what you're looking for. And out of curiosity, let's just go to Solana and see what this looks like as well. If we're on Solana and I wanna swap for another Solana coin, let's just say I wanna go into USDC over there, then yeah, you've got, you can either go through Jupiter or Chainflip. Now let's get into the magic that makes Rango different than somewhere like Jupiter Exchange, for example. Let's say that I wanted to swap some Atom into Solana, and I've got, let's say, I don't know, 50 Atom that I wanna swap here. The route that it pulled for us, it really only did find one route, but you can see it's got multiple hops in here. So you'd be going from Atom over in the Cosmos, over into USDT, over on, it looks like Binance, over using the Allbridge core bridge to USDC over on Solana and then swapping the USDC for Solana itself over the Sol token on Jupiter. I'm not so sure that the Rabi wallet has Atom functionality or Solana functionality. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit swap on this and then see where that takes us. The Rabi wallet was picked up for the middle section of the swap, and this is a Binance Smart Chain wallet. It does have other functionality in there as well, but it does not have Solana functionality, and it does not have Cosmos functionality. So let's say, oh yeah, oops, I forgot. I needed to connect my Kepler wallet that has your Atom coins in it. First thing I need to do is go into my extensions and turn on my Kepler wallet. And then I'm going to refresh this page. 
It is still showing the Rabby connection. So I'm gonna add my Kepler wallet, which is right here. So I'm gonna click on this, enter my password for it. And now I've got both the Kepler wallet and the Rabby wallet connected. So if I click out of this, and then we go to do this swap again, now you'll see it picked up the Kepler address, which has my Adam in it, theoretically. Then it's gonna swap into USDT over on Binance Smart Chain, which is in the Rabby wallet. And then I also need to connect a Solana wallet because neither of these support Solana. You could either connect a Solana wallet or if you already know your Solana address, like let's say that you have a friend that said, hey, send it to me here and he texted it to you. So you're gonna type it in. You could type in the Solana address here or you would need to connect a wallet. So I'm gonna hit this plus, well, before that, I gotta uh, turn on the Solana wallet. So back in my extensions, I'm gonna turn on the Phantom wallet close this and I'm gonna refresh the page. I'm gonna hit the plus button again to make sure everything's connected. So I've got Rabby. I also wanna connect Kepler again and Phantom Wallet. So now I've got all three of these wallets connected. Now when I go to execute this swap, it's got an Atom wallet with an Atom address, my Binance Smart Chain wallet over on Rabby, and it's gonna end up in my Phantom Wallet address. I'm gonna go ahead and hit confirm, although I know there's no money in this, and it's gonna tell me that I need to have gas in each one of these wallets. And that is really the trickiest part about using Rango Exchange is that in each step of the swap, you need to make sure that you have enough gas in each one of these wallets to execute the swap at each leg. But it does tell you what you're gonna need in the actual layout here. So I'm trying to swap 50 atoms, so I need just 0 .000402 atom as gas, so very minimal that I would need in that wallet. I would need 0 .0042 BNB in the Binance wallet, and then 0, .00, right, negligible amount in the Solana wallet as well. So first, make sure your wallets have gas in them before you actually do these swaps. But again, if you have any questions about this, you can always just click on the three dots, go to their support in their Discord, and they would be able to help you out with that. That's gonna do it for this Rango Exchange tutorial. I hope you got some value out of it and see you on the next one.